and today I will be reviewing the NB Touch from Verizon Wireless and it was released in early June along with the NB3 but as of January 010 that didn't sound right it is still one of Verizon's most popular messaging phones so let's get into some of the hardware of the phone and the NV Touch is just like the Voyager of previous eras except they put it into the NV line because they had some copyright problems with the name Voyager so this is pretty much the Voyager 2. We have our touchscreen display right here and it is 480 by 800 pixels and it is a resistive touch. Then we have our light sensor up here, our speaker grill, our send key, our clear which doubles as voice commands, and our end and power button. And then over to the bottom of the phone we have our standard LG charging unit. Ooh. And our microphone. Then on the side here we have our volume rocker switch and we have our lock and unlock to control the touch screen and our camera which also doubles as a video capture if you hold it down. On the top there is nothing. Then over here you have your nice three and a half millimeter headphone jack which is really handy because if you just have iPod headphones laying around or something like that you can just stick them in here and jam to your tunes. And you have your micro SD card slot and I have a little card in there. And then you go to the back and it has kind of this interesting geometric design and there's the camera. It's 3.2 autofocus Schneider Kuznock and it has, a, it's, it has a pretty nice flash. I mean it's not the greatest but it's a really nice camera for a phone. And then we open the battery door here if it would like to open and it's a 950 milliamp hour lithium ion battery and you have 4.33 hours of talk time and 17 days of standby time which it's not the greatest battery out on the market but it's not terrible either so let's power the sky up And just to mention, I'm kind of going to be taking like a kid's perspective on this review and not go into like mobile web browsing or things that people want to use the phone for that are like business people and stuff like that. So I'll be covering like the camera settings and messaging. So it's going to tell me that I need to slide up to unlock. And the display is really actually quite nice and oh and I forgot to go into this part of the phone obviously it flips open like this and we have your full QWERTY keyboard which we will get into a little bit later so and something that is really nice about this phone is the UI which is short for user interface and that's kind of the layout of the phone so we have our messaging key down here I don't know if you can see that messaging right there and you can sort the messages by time or by sender which is pretty easy to view then you have your dial pad and the touch screen is actually quite responsive especially with scrolling you have your main menu um, contacts and it sorts it so you can type in like the letter say I want to find like B or something or that's G never mind then you have your favorites, which is actually really handy. This was featured on the Dare, and I want to say the Versa. So say I wanted to do something like call, text, or something my mom. I could text, call, etc. It's really handy, actually. And then you have this little arrow thing up here, and you tap it, and you have different widgets, I believe they're called. And you can customize your widgets and say I'm going to be using a calculator a lot. I can drag it to my home thing and then I just tap the calculator and it's there. So that's what I mean by you can access things very easily. Let's just go into the messaging quickly. So if I want to create a new message, text message. 
So then I would just tap here and it comes up with the like dial pad you would have on a phone minus the numbers. And then you can also do pen, which is where you can draw a letter, which is kind of cool, but I never find myself using that. But something that I love is if you can rotate it, you have the full QWERTY keyboard, which is pretty fancy. So then I go, hey, and it actually works pretty well. So that's, I don't use the front a lot, but the inside is the best part. You have this luxurious full QWERTY keyboard. Let's just look at it for a second. It's just it's so beautiful. Okay, enough looking. Um, just to go over the keyboard, you have, it's a four row QWERTY. And you have your spacebar in the middle, which is an upgrade from the Voyager. You used to have two spacebars on the side. Then you just have your normal keys and your number row and stuff like that. And then you have your symbol, shift, message key, which is to create a new message, which I find to be an extreme time saver. There it is. Then you have your favorites key, which is like the thing on the outside. Remember when you went to favorites, except you use arrows, so that's really handy. Then you have these two keys that serve as shortcut to messaging and contacts. And it's really organized nicely, like the contacts, they show up with the pictures of the people on the side. It's just, it's really smooth and like sleek the way it operates. So let's just get into the display themes of the phone because I know there are a lot of people out there who like to have their phone very like personalized to themselves and that's something the Envy Touch can offer, although it only has two display themes. Right now I have on what's called, um... Let's see, I think it's called something blue. Oh, no! And it's cool because it kind of sorts it and it's very organized. So this is... Ah! Blue Inspiration. Then here's Modern Retro. And let's test out the luxurious keyboard. And keep in mind that I have had this phone for quite some time, so I'm used to the keyboard. So that's why it's probably going to be quite fast. Here we go. Okay. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dogs. It's, <clears throat> see? There's my sentence, if you can see that. It's just, the keys feel almost floaty, and it's just a really great keyboard experience if that makes any sense to anyone. So let's go into the music player. And just as an example, I have my Skull Candy headphones that I just plug into my iPod. There's a three and a half headphone jack. So let's plug it in. Okay. So I'll use my handy dandy arrow key. And sometimes like you see the touch screen isn't always responsive, but it's pretty good. Then I'll tap my music and we'll go to artists. Let's put on I'm Yours. And it's silent because I have my headphones in here, so we'll take those out. Just to show you. And see, it's really cute with the little buttons. Just really cute. And then, it doesn't sound as great from the outside, but if we open it, then I'll rock through the cracks. It's a lot better because we have our two speaker grills. And then if we close out of it, we can still have it right in this little bar right here so I can still send a message and it works. And then I can just end out of it. And to conclude, the Envy Touch I think is a fantastic messaging phone. And something that's great about it is it's not technically a smartphone. I guess you would call a dumb phone, as Noah would say, but do you really need a smartphone if a dumb phone is smart? I'm sorry, I just quoted him, but I had to, because he's right. Because data plans are so much more expensive a month. I would recommend this. It's fantastic. I love it. Thanks for watching. Bye.